So hi, my name is Renee Allen. I'm chair of the Exeter Energy Committee. We're here today at the third annual electric car showcase event at the Exeter Town Hall and Bandstand. The weather is fine. Uh, it's important that people learn about and get comfortable with electric vehicles so that we can speed the transition to electric vehicles and then lower the carbon footprint of the town. So this event happens every year in the fall. It's sponsored by National Drive Electric Week and this is our third year putting it on. We have 25 local owners that come and just open their hoods and let people talk to them about their driving experience. And then over here we have the test drive table and we always invite the dealerships to come down and give test drives. So here we have McFarland Ford and Exeter Volvo test driving various vehicles here. We've got an SUV, a pickup truck, and a, a Tesla. Uh, the Tesla's got the longest sign-up list. Uh, so we just got this Volkswagen E-Golf this, uh, this spring. We bought it used. Um, so this is our first time at this event. Uh, been very interested in buying an electric car. Um, and what do you have for a car? I have a Kia e, uh, Soul EV Plus, the 2017, which I bought a year ago. So we both yep. bought used EVs, um, much more affordable. I think mine was about $15,000. And okay, 12,000 12, for his, so a lot more affordable than buying a new one. You don't get the tax credit, but you know, you, you get a decent car, low mileage for both of us. Right, um, right. Mine had about 11,000 miles on it, and yours had less than 5,000 on it. So, battery will last a long time, and even though it's a five year old car, we expect to have it for five or ten years, hopefully. That's right, and, and it's been trouble free. That's what I like about it. Uh, no, no tune-ups, you know, like you might have. Just basic brake work. No oil changes. Don't have to worry about that. My only problem was when I got it registered here. Sometimes there was a mistake. And I moved from Pennsylvania, and there was a mistake on the title. So the title said it was an internal combustion in the car and they couldn't inspect it because <laughs> it had no emissions so they couldn't test the emissions. Oh man. So they they had to figure out how to deal with that. That took about a week or so of me calling, hey, to figure it out, yeah. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it's been a great car. Robin Tyner, I'm an oceanographer and meteorologist and an Exeter resident on the Energy Committee. This is our third year doing the electronic vehicle event. It's trying to raise, raise awareness and gives people an opportunity to look at the huge variety that's out there. I get surprised myself every year. Uh, well, last year we had to cancel it, but um, we had a great turnout. And um, any of us on the Energy Committee would be glad to talk to you if you weren't able to come. We all have different background expertise. Like I said, mine's more in science, um, oceanography, meteorology, and, and climate.